90% of cancer is actually considered preventable. So the answer is yes, cancer can be prevented. And most of the prevention is really in the areas of lifestyle, which includes diet, making dietary changes. It includes changing our activity levels. And it also includes how we sort of approach and live our lives. And um, to some extent includes our environment, although it's a little hard to prevent our environment. But we can certainly mitigate our exposure to, the, to parts of the environment. You know, I think that um, if we think about cancer and preventing cancer, we really have to tackle it with uh, the most sort of cost-effective strategies. So what we don't want to do, in my opinion, is focus on the little things that are just really hard to do, but really create a foundation of prevention. And uh, I talk to my patients a lot about prevention being a stool. So a stool, as we know, is strongest when there's three legs. So one leg of the stool is diet. Diet has a huge role to play in cancer prevention. And when I talk about diet, what I'm really talking about is including more fruits and vegetables, six to 10 servings a day, less red meat, more fiber, brown breads, brown rice, more um, nuts, seeds, fish, less red meat, less alcohol. Those are some of the kind of key dietary components. That's one stool, one leg of the stool. Another leg of the stool is activity. And uh, more and more research is really showing that for people to actually prevent cancer, they need to be exercising or active for about 30 minutes a day or three hours a week. So that's another leg. And then the third is the sort of area w of what I call kind of psycho-spiritual health. So finding something on a daily basis that's relaxing, that's joyful, that's peaceful, you know, playing with your pet, playing with your family, doing a hobby, something like that. So those are the three legs. And then on top, we have the stool. And on top of the stool, then we can put more sort of specific therapies, be that a specific supplement, which is what naturopathic doctors are trained to recommend really specifically, or uh, could be looking at certain components of our environment that we might have excessive exposure to and limiting our exposure to those things. So there's lots of things we can pile on the stool, but those legs have got to be in place.